today we are going to start with in teachers look at the following real life situations weight gain weight loss money deposit money withdrawal loss and profit in business an aeroplane flying above the sea level fishes swimming below the sea level so here weight loss money withdrawal loss in business fishes swimming below sea level show downward movement these are expressed by negative numbers so the need to extend our whole number system arises the negative numbers along with whole numbers are called integers integers are represented by i or z where z stands for zahlen it is a german word for integers so integers are collection of all negative numbers zero and all positive numbers so here you can see minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and so on we can extend integers on both the sides on negative side also and on positive side also now let's represent integers on a number line we draw a line with the help of a ruler and mark a point as zero almost in the middle of it we mark some points at equal distance on both sides of zero so here you can see children we already know that all the positive numbers lie to the right of zero so here you can see numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on are on the right of zero now all the negative numbers lie to the left of zero so here you can see minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6 and so on are on the left of zero now if you observe the number line you will find every natural number has its opposite for example opposite of 1 is minus 1 opposite of 3 is minus 3 opposite of 5 is minus 5 opposite of 6 is minus 6 and so on now remember all positive integers are greater than both zero and negative integers negative integers are less than zero greater the negative integer less is its value now for example minus 23 is less than minus 18 2 is greater than minus 2 0 is greater than minus 4 minus 5 is greater than minus 9 etc now let's learn about absolute value of an integer now absolute value of an integer is its numerical value regardless of its sign it is denoted by the symbol two vertical lines called modulus now for example the absolute value of plus 13 is 13 absolute value of minus 5 is 5 absolute value of minus 67 is 67 now let's do some questions here first question is indicate by using integer so we have to write whether it is positive integer or negative integer now first is moving backward three spaces on a game board so here the word is backwards which shows negative integer so we write minus 3 rupees 500 note added to your wallet here the word is added which shows positive integer so we have plus 500 a five point penalty in a game here the word is penalty which shows negative integer so we write minus 5 going up 16 floors in an elevator here the word is going up which shows positive integer so we write plus 16 now let's move to the next question write all the integers between minus 4 and 3 now here we circle minus 4 and 
on the number line and then we write all the integers lying between these two so we have minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 now next question is write four integers less than minus nine now as we move from right to left on the number line numbers go on decreasing so if we move to the left of minus nine we have minus 10 minus 11 minus 12 minus 13 which are less than minus nine now next question is arrange the integers in descending order now here we have to start with the greatest so first let's arrange positive integers so the greatest positive integer is 21 then we put greater than sign then we have 13 greater than 3 greater than 0 now we have to arrange negative integers and remember the smaller the negative integer greater is its value so we write here minus 5 greater than minus 11 greater than minus 14 now next question is write the absolute value so here absolute value of minus 19 is 19 absolute value of plus 23 is 23 absolute value of minus 53 is 53 now let's add integers on the number line now we have to follow two rules to add a positive integer move to the right on the number line and the second to add a negative integer move to the left on the number line now it will become clear from the following examples now first is plus 5 and then we have to add a positive integer so here move 5 steps to the right of 0 and reach 5. Now we have to add a positive integer. So we move to the right of 5, 3 steps and we reach at 8. So here we get plus 5 plus plus 3 equals to 8. Now next is minus 6 plus minus 3. So here we have to add a negative integer. Now move 6 steps to the left of 0 and reach minus 6. Now since we have to add a negative integer, so we have to move three steps to the left of minus six and we reach at minus nine so here we get minus nine now next is we have to add six with negative integer four and again we have to add a negative integer eight move six step to the right of 0 and reach at 6 now to add a negative integer we have to move 4 steps to the left of 6 and we reach at 2 now again we have to add a negative integer and we move eight steps to the left of two and we reach at minus six so we get minus six i hope it is clear to you now let's add integers now here the first case is adding integers with same sign now if the two integers are of same sign that is either both are positive or both are negative we add their absolute values and place the common sign before the sum so let's do some examples 
now first is plus 17 and plus 54 now absolute value of plus 17 is 17 and absolute value of plus 54 is 54 now we add their absolute values so 17 plus 54 is equal to 71 now here the common sign of both the integers is plus so we write plus sign with the sum so here we get plus 71 or simply write 71 if no sign is written it means it is positive sign now next is minus 74 and minus 52 so first let's find out the absolute value of minus 74 it is 74 absolute value of minus 52 is 52 now let's add their absolute values 74 plus 52 and we get 126 now the common sign of both the integers is minus so we have to put minus sign with the sum so we get minus 126 now next is adding integers with different signs now if the two integers have opposite signs that is one is having positive and one is having negative then we have to find the difference between their absolute values and place the sign of the integer with the greater absolute value to the result obtained now this will become clear from the following examples so first let's find out the absolute value of minus 67 it is 67 absolute value of plus 19 is 19 now let's find out their difference of absolute values so we have 67 minus 19 which is equal to 48 now greater absolute value has minus sign so greater absolute value that is 67 which has minus sign with it so we have to write minus sign with the result obtained so we get minus 48 so our answer is minus 48 now next is minus 367 and plus 745 so first let's write their absolute values so absolute value of minus 367 is 367 and absolute value of 745 is 745 now let's find the difference of absolute values which is 745 minus 367 which is equal to 378 now greater absolute value has plus sign so here greater absolute value is 745 and it has plus sign with it so we have to write plus sign to the result obtained so our answer is plus 378 or simply 378 i hope children you will be able to do worksheet questions also thank you